So, so first and foremost, which is probably news to everybody, Serena Williams announced that she'd be officially retiring after Ooh. the US Open this year. Oh man, the GOAT. Oh man. So so that's um the GOAT. I mean, yeah, absolutely. I mean, and she's not the GOAT of female tennis, in my opinion. She is the GOAT of tennis in general, Ooh. male or female. Ooh. Shit. It's, okay. it's, it's no question that okay. there's no one that's done it better than Serena Williams. Four Olympic her, gold her medals. Dominance is unprecedented. It is in the tennis it world. It, it really is. is. Ninety-four million made in winnings and earnings in tournaments. Yeah, she's, yeah. She's, and I remember they were young kids coming up, man. Yeah. And remember, at a time, Venus was the phenom. Right. Venus Serena was wasn't even the best. Serena was, yeah. Venus matured quicker than Venus. Mm -hmm. I mean, quicker than Serena. Serena yeah. But then Serena just like just just went off. She yeah. just went took it to a whole nother level. She's got twenty four major title which is a record in the in the hardcore era mm -hmm. she uh, i think margaret court got 24. in fact i was at the uh u.s open when serena got into it with um uh, naomi osaka mm -hmm. with the line judge yeah she was yeah. playing naomi osaka she was she was going for a 25th i believe yeah and she did and she unfortunately which, didn't get which, it which apparently so, is an elusive one that's one that 25th is would put her as the all-time winningest because mm -hmm. Margaret Court has 24, mm -hmm. but that was in the old era. Yeah, you know, and not to take nothing away from that era. Yeah. But, but the fact of the matter is, more kids play tennis today with the progression in technology and what it's done for, for athletes to where they're in a different type of condition, just physically more impressive than they were in that era. Overall, I'd say, unprecededented. What she's doing, man. So I, you know, I, I, mean, I, 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 I hope she wins the twenty fifth. I mean, it would what, what what a hell of a way to walk off into the sunset. Oh, I, man. I, I, you know I, I, mean? I definitely, I definitely like to add, with her not being the best amongst the sisters, you know, the total message that we get is that she wanted it. And for all athletes and all, you know, male and female, if you're not the best, the message is to want it. To want it. Yeah, yeah. You know? And, and can you imagine, man, being a sister from Compton? Compton. And playing in the most white, affluent mm -hmm. sport that you could think of. Mm -hmm. And everything that she had to go through and the mental fortitude that you have to have. With the braids. To be with, successful. With the beautiful braids. In that, in, in that sport. I mean, can you imagine? All, she probably heard all kinds of stuff. Right, on court, you know, off court, or hundred percent. You know what I mean? Because it could be overt in your face, like a crowd yelling all types of foolishness, but it could be super passive, with yep. with with major undertones when you're in a ballroom. Yeah. Or you know what I mean? Sure. You're, you're out here pandering to you know, so to speak, to sponsors and patrons and things of that nature. So I mean, the full gamut, what she's been able to accomplish and overcome. In her career, again, I said this word a couple of times, but it's unprecedented. Unbelievable.